Hi guys, in this tutorial or in this series of tutorials, I am going to show you how to create a complete login form in or login program in TK Enter Python. And by the way, guys, I have created a complete course for you guys who want to be a professional desktop, uh, Python desktop uh, developers. So check that out in the description below. If you really, really want to become a professional desktop application and become uh, and um, find a job in one of the biggest uh, companies out there and also check out the uh, our free ebook in the description below and uh, let's get started first of all this is um, uh, this is just um, a simple login form that we are going to create something um, similar to this not exactly but uh, close to it um, username and password. I, I, uh, I think I'm gonna change this username to the email instead because uh, most most applications right now use the email for uh, as a way of verification instead of the username. But it's uh, it's free for you if you want to use the username. It's fine. So let's get started. First of all, you need to open your uh, Sublime text. And the first thing that you need to type in Sublime Text is, um, is to import the TK Enter uh, library. And to import it, just type for uh, just type from TK Enter and then import and um, this star, which means import everything from the TK Enter library. And you need also to type um, this. I'm gonna come back to you, to to this line of code uh, later um, in this tutorial, but uh, let's just delete this for now so that you don't get confused. And after you have imported the TK Enter, what you need to do is to import the main class and to import the main class or the uh, or create an object of the main class and store it, of course, in um, some variable. So I'm gonna name the variable main and it's gonna be equal to tk, right, all right? And what that means is that we have created an object from the tk enter uh, library. And this is going to be used throughout this series of tutorials because this one um, acts like um, a window that is going to hold everything inside it. Uh, it's gonna hold, as you can see, it's gonna hold the username, the password, the fields, the buttons, every uh, single thing. So let's continue. Um, then what you need to do is you need to create um, you need to create labels for uh, for the username or the email and the password. So we need to labels, we need to um, sorry, these are the labels, the username and the password, and the fields, the fields that the user is going to, uh, is, uh, is going to type the, the email or the username and another field for the password. And of course, a login button and a cancel button. So let's do uh, these things here. So first of all, I'm gonna type uh, email label, email label, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be equal to label and this is actually uh, an object in TK Enter library and it takes basically it takes the um, the TK object inside it as a parameter so we pass this main inside it and it also takes the uh, takes the text that you want to, uh, to display. So here in our case, we want to display the email instead here of the username. Of, or of course, if you want to uh, display a username, just type username. So here I'm gonna type inside this text, I'm gonna type email, right? And we are gonna create another one, another one of these for, um, for the password. So instead of uh, email label, I'm gonna type password label and what we need to change is the text instead of email it's it should be password 
now uh, now we need to create these two entries or fields and in in Python uh, take enter to to create these field uh, these fields you need to type uh, you need to create an object of some class called entry right entry and it takes actually the text as well it, it doesn't take a text because it's um, it's an empty field of course and what it takes is the main right and this one is gonna be for the email so I'm gonna name I'm gonna give it a name of email um, entry or email field field equals to this and another one for the password field right password so now we have these four we need now a button or two buttons for the login or OK and another button for the uh, cancel so we can type login button button and um, the class that we use is called button it's so simple and it takes actually the main again uh, as you can see here and as you can notice here the main is all uh, is always um, uh, it should always be passed as a parameter in in each of these um, uh, widgets in the label in the entry in the button we always pass it as um, as a parameter and this is how it works how, how a TK enter um, library works and uh, the second parameter that we need to pass is the text is the text right and the text should be equal to login in our case and another button for the cancel this one is cancel and I'm gonna change this label to can sell right now save everything and the last the last two lines uh, of code are very very important the first one is that remember the, we created this object right but we did not execute we did not call any method on it and we need to call a method that is going to be um, that is going to display all of these uh, line of codes uh, or, or in other words uh, call uh, it's gonna call all uh, it's gonna call all these line uh, or execute all these line of codes and this method is called main loop and what it does is that it is going to execute all of these line of codes and continue displaying the window so if you just run any Python application it's gonna go from the from top to button it's gonna uh, execute the first line of code the second line the third and so on and so forth and then um, exit the program or, or not doing anything uh, anything else if it goes to the last line of code but we don't do that we want the application the window to continue um, to be displayed all the time as long as the user um, doesn't do anything just uh, just the user is is, um, is looking at the window for example this um, this um, Google Chrome as you can see it's gonna be it's gonna be displayed to me as a user uh, as long as I do, don't do anything as long as I don't close it so here we do the same we need to a way of um, displaying the window until the user takes an action so here I'm gonna use the main object and then call this method which is gonna uh, which is called main loop and uh, you can uh, you can uh, figure out the meaning of this uh, method from its name it, it's called main loop it's gonna uh, go through these lines of codes as long as the user doesn't do anything now if I save everything and um, run or, or build our application guess what build guess what it's gonna display this window to me but as you can see nothing 
these buttons and these labels aren't there. Why is that? Well, the, sim the answer is so simple. Because we need 